Hey guys, I'm really glad you're here. Today I'm going to be going over, finally got back to the Bevel Magic add-on. Um, so I'm going to show you the progress, I'm going to show you the add-on. Uh, it's been a lot of like tedious work to get it to um, do what I want. And so it's more intuitive, it's intelligent, it's going to tell you what's going on, everything on the end panel, and it's going to be very, very streamlined. Uh, you'll be able to do a lot more with a lot less. There is now going to be a, a pretty nice pie menu, so uh, let's jump right in. All right, so I got my fresh copy of Blender 3.6 LTS. And so I started making all of my add-ons uh, to work with 3.6 and 4.0. Just a little FYI, so if you're using 2.93, technically everything in here should work. But some of the more advanced features um, for like the Lightmagic Studio, it will work um, like 3.0 and up. But if you run into any errors, it's just time to upgrade anyways because you are missing out in a big, big way. So I'm going to go grab the add-on and I want to install it and just go through the process real quick. It's uh, no big deal. And I got that new Bevel Magic set up here. This is 4.0. And so I'll put 4.0 here. And now down here in the end panel, I've got my B box, which you should go pick up. That's a cool setup, the LM Studio. So here we go. This is it. There's absolutely nothing there, right? Good add on. No. Okay, seriously, let's throw in a cube. Okay. And the very first thing you can do is come over here and look. I've got a new Bevel Magic thing here because the last Bevel Magic, I'm saying that right. The last Bevel Magic had like this bar across, and it was just really thick, a lot of red buttons. Um, whereas it was easy, it was not very intuitive, it wasn't very streamlined, it wasn't like small. And so now you've got the Add Bevel modifier in levels 1, 2, 3, and 4. So when you add this, you'll see the 3DS Bevel, and it's going to come in a very specific bevel, and it's going to be labeled up here. Let's remove that navigation overlay that is annoying all right so at the very top right here you'll see what you have okay i have well i have nothing selected now and it's going to tell you that that was my, i wasn't going to show i wasn't going to reveal that right away but here we go and you can actually uh, select the object right here with the selections if you don't have it selected you just grab it uh, so it's very very easy you don't have to like move around do much so modifier equals 3ds bevel 1, then a couple of dashes, object equals cube, right click off, no object selected. And so that's pretty, uh, that's a lot smarter add-on. It's actually reading what's going on in the background. It's scanning your collections in the view layers. Uh, so if you have multiple view layers, it's going to scan the view layers for these objects. And it is very specific. So if I uh, shift D this, and we'll just make this one a little bit different. Move it over here. And so now if I select here, I've got cube 001, it's labeled here. I can grab the other cube as the active object. Very slick, very, very good design. Now if I turn off clamp uh, for this one, I come over here, it's still on. So I can turn off clamp and loop slide here. And I've also got the bevel amount it's only going to change what you have selected so if i come here and select the next one i could change the amount here as well then i can bring the segment count up as well i say as well a lot now you can turn on show cavity real quick it's actually it's defaulted on so if you click this you're turning it off so it's defaulted on and i can switch to both so i can see my ridge and valley uh, if i want the miter outer in this one to be patch then I can do that if I come back over to the original it's still sharp sharp so at the top it's only going to show one section for the uh, for the modifier that is being selected at the moment from that object it's not going to show everything now down here it's going to show every object in your scene that you have so if you do this you're going to have another pop-up but it's very separated very nice and now if you want to just go ahead over into cycles and I'll just kind of show you how this works you'll now have a render region set up 
So you can just click render region. And if you've got all these other objects, you've got a big scene. You can literally just render out what is in this small area right here, which is cool. And then you can turn it off. And each button's going to have that to minimize movements in the viewport because I'm doing like a million billion clicks a day because I'm not just, you know, modeling. I'm building stuff I'm doing in Python, I'm prototyping. And so like for everybody, it's probably it's probably equal for everybody because you're all prototyping, you're trying to get stuff right, trying to click and find different things in your scene and it's very difficult. Um, so now with all that, let's go over to the edit and the preferences for the add-on. And you'll see you have Alt U as your bevel pie menu. You can change this to Alt T if you want. You can click it again and do Control Alt T if you happen to have you know, something that's blocking that. So it's a very smart add-on. So Alt T, uh, excuse me, I wanna use Alt U. I wasn't getting any errors that way. And so Alt U will give you a pie menu. And this is the same levels one, two, three, and four that you'll find over here. So it's very easy if you just want to hover over that just to the right of the space bar, you'll have the alt and then the U. It just makes a lot of sense because I always have my arm like over the the edge of the mouse pad and kind of arched over so I'm gonna hit the mouse pad because I'm using a laptop. But regardless, the uh, alt U on every single keyboard is gonna work. And if I change this, you'll see it changed down here, it's just 10 segments. And you'll see it up here as well for your main modifier. So let's go over here. And if I click add bevel, nothing happens because that object already has a bevel. So you won't stack. Like I said, it's just much more intuitive. Spent a lot of time uh, making this one. So alt U and I can now, oh, let's make sure I got one grabbed as an active object and I can show the wire on this now. Okay, so I'll show the wireframe and I can see what's going on. And then if I don't like those segments, because it's kind of like messing me up, I can fix that. And then for the corners and stuff like that, for the miter outer, uh, we can change some things, you know, or the miter inner, excuse me. And now when you uh, pull your segments in and everything else, you get a very different looking bevel. And so I just think like in this little four, five, six inch area on the screen is where you're gonna do all your work. You don't have to move the mouse everywhere, which is just tedious. And it's not like a big bulky add-on like the last one. And I can mark it sharp if I want to as well, or I can unmark it. So you'll see there's a checkbox here. I'm kind of chasing my, <laughs> chasing my pie menu. And so level two, so like watch the segments and watch the amount and segments here. Let me make sure I've got uh, an active object selected which I have this one. And if I go to level two, it changes everything. And this all matches what's over here. So if you're in a different workspace or you just want to like increase your productivity and your space, um, then you've got a ton of options right here. Now, if you go in and you grab something, you'll have the shading and geometry offset. So well, I've got this one grabbed. Let me see. There we go, this one. And I can change the geometry offset and the shading offset to kind of like, and let me get rid of that wire for this one. So I can kind of change the look and it'll allow you to hide shading errors. It's really cool. And don't forget, you can render that region out or you can clear it. And a little trick I showed on one of my shorts, if you guys missed it, uh, Alt B allows you to slice through, but it only works in the viewport. So it's on the viewport and you can grab whatever's in that slice and you can look inside of it. And that's just Alt-B. I'm not probably not gonna put that into the add-on, but it is something uh, very useful. So you can kind of check that out, find your shading errors. Let's see, does it actually work on the other objects? Yes, it does. And so I can see inside of everything that's here and kind of like correct shading errors. You know, I might put a button in here, but it's it's Alt B and then Alt B to cancel it. It's just, it's so easy just to remember. And I'm trying to minimize um, anything that's over here. And so you can grab a beautiful bevel one or two and change the entire look instantaneously. And then let's see if there's anything else 
Alt U. Okay, yeah, you can add the bevel here as well. So if you didn't have a modifier on this, it's going to show nothing. If I click here and then right click, it'll just tell me no object selected. But if I click here, everything disappears except for the show cavity and stuff because this is not context based. Um, so I would go to the Pi menu and add my bevel. And then, you know, I can go back in and say I want bevel number one because bevel one is like the smallest bevel you can get and it looks pretty good. There's nothing wrong with that bevel. That's a good looking bevel. And you can increase the segments. You don't really need more than like two, three, or four for something like that. So I have the, the segment count pretty low. And let's see, I just want to make sure that's everything. Yeah, that's it. This is the upgrade. This will be on Blender Market. Uh, like I said, I've got a free version of this and you can go grab that one if you don't want it but it's always a good idea to upgrade to some of the pay add-ons and that's why i'm making this thing uh, the way it is more intelligent and uh, very easy to use and everything changes for each object selected it's very intuitive so jump on over and grab that step your game up and once you buy it on blender market you get all my upgrades free you know and so people um i got 500 just to be transparent i got like 550 sales on the other one right and a lot of those are free but a lot of those are pay as well and it's very very inexpensive um, just so you know time to step a game up not necessarily sales pitch but just like if you want to model better and you want to be able to come in here and do some really cool things really quickly and then like i mean very very quickly change the bevel amount you're like ooh, i don't like that let me uh, bring up the segments or let me change this back to arc because it's going to look better and then change all that you know it's just easier so to speed up your workflows go pick up this add-on or go pick up somebody's bevel add-on and step it up thanks for watching guys i'll see y'all in the next tutorial happy blending and make some good clean bevels